I said uh, to the team that uh, I wanted to fly the F-350. It was not possible before summer break, and so I, I took this opportunity of still a quiet week. Why? Uh, you know that I joined Airbus one month before the launch of the F-350, and uh, I was given the task by uh, Louis Galois and then Tom Airbus to uh, uh, take care of uh, uh, this program. And uh, uh, for me, this is uh, not only to be with a flight test team, but it's also uh, to share the emotion of uh, the thousands of people within Airbus and uh, our partners who have uh, so far developed and manufactured this aircraft. It was for me so amazing to see that uh, after only 150 hours, there is a, a pretty good level of maturity. So uh, I would like to uh, congratulate all the teams. I flew with the F-380, with the F-330, so uh, uh, it was not really flight test campaigns, uh, but it was uh, uh, tests uh, of uh, systems of the aircraft. So it was not the first time, but uh, uh, clearly uh, uh, with the 350 there is another dimension. Uh, we feel part of a program and uh, this one uh, was very exciting. Then we were seven, there are seven seats and so it was very comfortable. There are even lavatories, even if I didn't use them, so uh, the pilots uh, are well treated. We had about a three hour flight test. This was about uh, systems tests and it was very interesting because uh, the pilots, uh, the flight test engineers could uh, explain what we were checking. Basically we were checking the AP APU behavior uh, in the full uh, uh, flight envelope and it was uh, at uh, low altitude, low speed, up to high altitude, high speeds. Uh, so uh, uh, we could enjoy uh, at the same time uh, navigating uh, between uh, big clouds, so it was uh, really exciting. The priority so far, especially when we have only one aircraft, uh, uh, is uh, clearly to focus on the uh, flight test planning. Uh, however, I promise to uh, my Airbus colleagues that uh, when we can do it, uh, we will uh, fly over other sides of Airbus as much as possible. Despite the fact uh, so far everybody tells me that the flight test program goes pretty well, we have still a lot ahead of us. And I think we'll have several years very, very busy. First of all, uh, we have still about 12 months of uh, flight test campaign. We'll have uh, MSN3 flying probably uh, in October, then uh, MSN2 with the cabin. Uh, so all that is about testing the performances, achieving the appropriate maturity. We have to prepare the ramp up, we have to manage uh, the supply chain, uh, we need to deliver the first aircraft and the first Qatar Airways aircraft will start the final assembly line operations by the end of this year and we have also to work very hard on the development of the next member of the family which is the Dash 1000. So still a lot on our plate but so far so good.